Hello everyone, happy Halloween and happy Dragon Age Belgard Day! I really, I, I should have written a script for this or something. Um, I'm, I'm attempting webcam, obviously, for Belgard. And what do we do? Uh, it's Dragon Age Belgard. We've been waiting almost 10 years for this since Inquisition, right? Um, I, it's kind of weird that it's here and it's been a very up and down, we're so back, we're so down, we're so back, we're so done in the last few months. Um, right out the gate, if you come here to complain, whine, whinge, be, you know, generally pissy, uh, just go back to Twitter. <laughs> That's where the Twitter arguments go. I personally have a list of small complaints that, well, small, some small, small some maybe bigger, that, uh, about the game so far. I haven't even opened it, but there's just a few things that I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, you know? So I just, I'll, I'll lay those out. And if you have, like, you know, criticisms or critiques, you're like, personally, I wish this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, anybody, you know, is just here to, like, defame and attack Bioware for whatever reason because you didn't realize that the games have had queer characters in them from the start since like for 20 years ago uh, you know like uh, that's out of you and you're just a clickbait train troll so <laughs> that's not this is another place for you I do have moderators watching the comments so waste your time if you'd like <laughs> but um no this is a place where we do we have criticisms for Bioware for, or for you know for different aspects of the games but like for the most part I've, I've gradually come back to being pretty excited. Uh, it's excited enough to get, you know, all done up. I've just, I have a little photo shoot that maybe I'll show you pictures of that we did, but this is the Valesleen of Mythal. This is from my Inquisitor um, from the last game. I have, you can kind of see it. It's part of the background that I attempted to make. Uh, I have no idea how to do webcam stuff, really. Uh, the lighting, I'll have to take a picture. It's, it's totally scuffed, and I'm in a tiny room in my sister's place because I'm a nomadic archaeologist. I live out of my forerunner. Um, but she lets me come over and play video games, and if you're new here, if you're not new here, you already knew that, but yeah, so, Nomad, but, uh, I have a nice setup that my sister lets me come, my sister and her husband let me use, um, my old stuff at her place. Anyway, there's that. Um, did I have, uh, I think I had, did I, did I have this? I had Solus up with me. I have Solus here. Um, and for some reason, actually, it looks like the exposure is better if he's in the camera. I'm not sure why. It just, like, less, there's less paleness on my own skin. So I'm like, mm, this would be nice. I need to, like, find a way to, like, tape him to the back wall. Um, I don't usually use webcam for things, but this is a game I have long been anticipating. I'm cautiously excited for it. Um, let's see. Let me, let me, I, I did take some notes. I have had a morning of it. Uh, I, the drivers, I did update drivers. I was doing stuff. It was driving me crazy. Um, but yeah. Oh, I guess really quick. Um, I've been playing Dragon Age for a really long time. Um, I, Inquisition was actually my first game, so if that bothers you, <laughs> wrong place. But I played Inquisition, and then I went back and replayed the old games uh, many times. And I've been in the lore trenches for a long time. I'm a big Dragon Age lore girly. I love it very, very much. My first character was an elven mage named Durthara. Um, and she was very cool. I liked her a lot. Very kind of a stoic scientist type. She was very nice. She was very cool. Uh, and she romanced Zebra. And these are the most important things that I need to tell you. <laughs> um, and, and she survived the end of, um, you know, Origins. And, um, technically, Morrigan was with Alistair. I guess I will. I can't go into it. So, he, okay. I'm upset that we don't have a world state situation going on in this game, really. Um, I will get to that, I guess, really quick, uh, but Warden Durthara Serana really loved her. Next was Hawk, female Hawk, um, obviously, well not obviously, but female Warden, uh, female Hawk, just like the gen like generic with the, with the red, I love that, both of them, very attractive. Um, anyway, that game, I uh, romanced Anders, which was the start of my downward spiral into loving men who are not good for me. <laughs> and so, but that was a, in my mind, it was sort of a toxic codependent relationship, not something to aspire to, but it was interesting to watch it play out in the way, the only way I could justify the decisions that were being made was that was how I justified it in my head, you know, or how I explained it. Anyway, um, she does side with the mages in the end. Um, and, and she's a sarcastic purple hawk, right? And then Inquisitor, oh, my Erica, who is my most beautiful child, even if we were talking about this the other day, she's probably my blandest one, um, my most beautiful one that I spent a lot of time on, and I really, really adored her, and it may, <laughs> may not surprise you, but I romance Sola, so again, bad decision. If you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this is the Fenharel, the wolf jaw that he wears, um, right here. 
And yeah, you can see it. That's what he wears. Um, just keep him like right here so that the exposure is... <laughs> oh my gosh, that is significantly different. Yeah, so that's, to me, that's the most important thing, right? It's the thing I always ask when people, I'm like, oh, you play Dragon Age? Who'd you romance, you know? So I romance Zevran, Anders, and Solus. Uh, I'm a Solus Mancer extraordinaire. Um, if that bothers you, also not the place for you. I have a tragic headcanon that I want to happen going into this game with him and the Inquisitor. I'm not like, oh, he's a baby and he needs to be saved. No, he, he, can't, he can't be allowed to continue on what he's doing, but I am going to try to save him, uh, which I think we get to have in... Like, that, that is one of the things we can do in here. Really super quick. Uh, the one, the biggest thing I'm upset about with is, one, the graphics so far. I'm not a huge fan of the way people's faces look like porcelain dolls. I've seen mods that do that to people in other games, and I think it looks freaky and creepy with the big eyes and the big eyelashes and the big hair, and I'm always like, that looks creepy, you know? I don't like how we went from having too many pores in Inquisition to, you know, not any pores in the next game. So hopefully maybe somebody will make a mod that gives us actual skin textures, unless I can figure something out in the character creator. Um, really quick, my biggest thing is I'm upset with is the lack of a world state. So this is my thing that I'm very upset about, right? Is that uh, we have like, what, three questions in the world state thing in this thing? And like, they're like, oh, we're starting on a new slate, like a clean slate. And I'm like, so the, the black divine of Tavinder doesn't care who the white divine is down south? You know what I mean? Like. This, this is a heavily interconnected political world. I'm very excited to see places that we've only read about, like Ravain, Antiva, uh, Minrathis. You know, I'm so excited for all of this stuff. Um, but I am, I wrote like several paragraphs in my Discord about how I was, I was trying to be positive, and then that, that came out, and I was like, that upsets me. Uh, I feel like it's kind of a slap in the face to the longtime, you know, Dragon Age fans. Um, but. I'm not sure if any of those rants will make it in. <laughs> um, I kind of just, I know probably the video should probably just start, honestly. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like this is a wolf ear set thing for the, for the dread wolf, you know? That's the dread wolf, but um, that's where I'm at. So we, we will get into that, I think, with, with, what they, what, with what they have for an excuse of a world state in this game. But I did, what did I, I disbanded the Inquisition, I said I would try to save Solus. It's one of the big things, but let's see. <laughs> I have tried wearing these with the headphones. One of the reasons that the camera is set a little to the side is so that maybe you can still see the tips of my ears because you can't really see them uh, under the headphones, obviously. So this will be fun. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know. I'm like so flustered. Like, it's like I've been waiting so long and I kind of can't. I need like a moment to be like, holy cow, I'm looking at Dragon Age the Veilguard, which should be the Dread Wolf. I'll never forgive the name change either. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can um, start the character creator. Please don't connect to online services. I don't, uh, no, do not connect to anything. <laughs> if you're not going to have a world state, then I don't care. Let's get through all this. Okay, I had to restart. Sorry, I keep looking way over to look at the camera, but you're right there. Um, which is not... Okay, good. I don't think you can see the mic in that. <laughs> but, um... New game. I think it's on ultra settings. Ooh, let's make sure, maybe. Uh, graphics. Yes, okay. We'll see. It was saying something about, like, SSD, or, like, it's like, oh, you have a, the wrong, like, HDD. I was like, no, I have an SSD drive, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, I'll try not to slur. I tend to blur my words together. I know him. <laughs> Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had oh a my gosh, name. I'm so excited! The Dreadwolf, ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story oh you believe. Oh my goodness! In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods. Solus oh, the dagger must them, be... Creating yeah, that's a veil probably that split our no. world from the raw magic of Elgarnet. the fade. Oh. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic. Their freedom. Even their immortality. Yeah, well, he can't, he can't win, really, Solus. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil. And undo the damage he caused. Listen. Even if that means <laughs> our world has to burn. This is so gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. Somebody's got to stop him. And that's where you come in. If anything happens to Varric, I will uh, hurt myself and everybody else in this room. What is that? I, I messed up the meme totally. Anyway. Um, 
Yeah. Also, I am hoping, I'm pretty sure we get to name our characters because I will be naming my character Stone um, because one of my good friends, Stone Smith, died a couple years ago uh, due to cancer and he had been really looking forward to this game and uh, it was really it was a really hard time for all of us like we he knew I knew him from like when I was streaming a lot more when I had a place I could stream from and stuff so this video this playthrough I am dedicating to Stonesmith uh, whose real name I don't even know but he was a really good friend and just just really very kind very kind and supportive and um, it was really hard when he passed so yeah this is for him so that in some small way that he can play the game that he so looked forward to so there we have it. But I, gal, um, not, I've been torn between Canary and Elf. Uh, however, I am really not enjoying the Canary redesign. Uh, sorry, my neck is so tense. I had so many issues with, like, drivers and, like, downloading things. I was, like, so scared I wasn't gonna get to freaking, um, yikes. Uh, so scared that I wasn't gonna get the game to work let's yeah so we can just you can just like have a preset if you want descendants of an ancient fallen empire pushed to the margins in the past and elves are building a brighter future by exploring their civilization's lost wonders so you have the dalish and the city elves right um but at the end of inquisition whether or not we're gonna take this into account or not it was said that most of the elves were going i think to arlathan forest or were disappearing People didn't, they were just like city elves, Dalish elves were all gathering somewhere, and it was obviously to see Solus, right? Um, to like see what he was doing. Let's see, do I just press continue? Okay, call. I was like, don't just like, you know, push me into the game. Okay, select an appearance, preset appearance for your character and continue or pre press customize. Blah, blah, blah. I am not, I am no man. Woman. Oh, so these are just like the... Okay, I see. Just like the general presets. I like the look of this, of this one, but... Also, why did why does the underwear, the underclothes look so bad again? Why? Why? Anyway, we're excited for this. This is going to be... I'm going to be here for most of the time. For most of the day, I feel. Okay, yeah, so I can't... Oh, no. I'm going to start... She's pretty. Can I not? Okay, I was like, can I not? Move her around. Oh, I'm so excited. I guess the Valislina may be updated. Holy cow, this woman. She's stunning. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, so we do have pores. We do have real skin. I'm just not... There's something, like, fuzzy about the game. Like, the LV edges feel softened. It is nice, though, for once in... Like, look, look, at, that, look at this hair. Holy cow. Holy cow, did you guys ever think we were gonna get this? If we were ever gonna get real hair in these games? Oh, this, you're handsome. Very handsome. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Should I start with this one? Again, I'm biased, obviously, because I do love me a side shave. Oh, this one's, it's actually kind of confusing. I'm not really sure, like, this is like elongating the face or shortening it. It's like changing so many other things too. Okay. For now, I just kind of want to explore things. So, complexion. Smooth. Can we have a real one? Maybe Rich? Rich has like a bit more going for it. Vitiligo, nice. Goodness. So, these are eager. It looks like we just have like a. Neutral. What? Oh my gosh, so within... Oh, interesting. Wow. Warm, neutral, or cool within the skin tone itself. Uh, forehead. Oh boy. Okay, see, this is something I can understand a little better. I'm like, alright, sliders. Alright, we can mess with that. Flatten with depth brows, spacing. Who I wonder, I might make another character who's similar in design to my Inquisitor just because of the way I, when I played Inquisition, it was my first game, right? Um, and, but I made my character, I kind of took inspiration from the Klingons is how I saw it. Like, I was like, I liked the like very straight nose, like bridge, like coming straight down from the forehead down to the tip of the nose. Turns out that's actually how the elves were designed in two. And so I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I might do that, that like, that like two elf design again 
Oh, okay, okay. Oh boy. Uh, can I play with the hair? Oh my gosh, this is just the head, and then we have the eyes, nose, blah, 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 blah. tattoo scars, makeup, hair. Oh my gosh, cheek, jaw, chin, layering, scalp. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Body more of the undergarments, please. Wait, nope, all of these are bad. Nope, I don't like any of them. And I was like, dang it, I was, I was getting, I was getting excited. So we can be more muscular, okay. A little rounder, or hourglassy shaped, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Bulge size, how nice. Glute size, get a big butt. My, I, I don't have the capability for a big butt on this body, it looks like. Interesting, I shape. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, because we can change the lighting. <gasps> okay. Let's go with the brighter one for now. Eye shape, okay, so they're not gonna give us any. We have to design our own eyes. All right, eyebrows, eyelash, eye color. I'm not gonna do heterochromia. I do think it's cool, but I also like it's it's kind of one of those I'm not like other girls traits sometimes that people like like a use and abuse, you know. So I will probably not do that, but I can't I can't ever say no. Uh, color preset. No, uh, you're only gonna give me. Hang on, hang on. You're only gonna give me like normal colors. Oh, that's actually upsetting. I don't want normal colors. I want the I want to have bright red eyes again, or like I guess this is kind of purple. <laughs> so they'll go pink, but uh, interesting. So you could you could like oh you could kind of like mix and match, but you can't like make red. Maybe I'll go with like my I would like to do purple eyes because I always wanted purple. <gasps> I could I have an idea for a character. I could always do purple eyes, but nowadays it seems like a lot of like the sort of. Books that I'm not a personal fan of, like a lot of the like romanticy types, you know, uh, they're like she has white hair, and purple eyes, and I'm like, listen, I liked that way before you did, but now I can't do it because people will think I'm copying that, and I'm like, absolutely not. I one of my favorite cho toxic trait pastimes is to watch videos tearing those books apart. That is not to say that people shouldn't read them or like you know enjoy them. You do you. I enjoy watching people say this is not very good craft, <laughs> and I'm like, wow, let me get my popcorn and let me let me hear the tea. You know what I mean? But um, that's just that's just for me. I don't go around saying you shouldn't read them. I just like to watch those videos. <laughs> we can play, and I am excited. We finally get to have like these nice long ears. It's one of the reasons I got these long ones. It's because I was like, ooh. We're finally gonna have these nice long ears and we're not just gonna be like humans with ears, you know, like with long ears. Ear shape. Okay. Hair. I'm so excited for hair. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are gonna look at these. The classics, the classic shaved head. Oh, we're finally getting such good hair. I'm, I'm wiggling her around so you can see her hair moving around. Oh my gosh, this hair looks luscious looks luscious. They worked so hard on it. I'm so pleased. Ooh, this is always a nice one. A classic look. Um, I respect it. It's not for me. But uh, I respect that look. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. This is, we're finally getting like really good, like actual, like a variety of hair options. You know, not just like an afro and 12, um, like straight hair options, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. That, like the loose fluffy bun? I am adoring all of these. I actually really like this one. Hello, Cassandra. How many do we have? So many. I'm gonna go fast through them. Oh, I love that one. This, this just looks nice. Like, it's plain, but, like, it looks so nice. The braids. I'm hoping to find some nice braid options. One of the reasons I was thinking about doing a Canari is because when I very first played Inquisition and I saw the tarot card for a Canari, I, well, I fell in love immediately. I was like, I want to play, like, a gray-skinned Canari. I love this. Um, with long white hair and the gold. I, I can't, they're not tattoos, but they're, like, um the armor essentially that they'll wear like the poison armor that they wear in their faces um and then i was so sad 
to to realize that you could not, especially for the Canari, like they like they had sort of long hair options. With oh, that's a look. Wow. Um, they had sort of long hair, hair options for the other races, but not Canari at all. And I was really disappointed. Um, and so I didn't. I played an elf, you know. And and then we're off to the races with that. But. I do feel playing an elf is very prescient, which I do believe I am pronouncing correctly. If not, uh, I'll figure it out later in post. Oh my gosh, I do like these looks. The little Jedi braid, cute. The Padawan braid. Um, yeah, it's very prescient to be an elf because like a lot's going down with the elves in this one. But I do feel like we're going to be getting some Canari lore because, and this is... Only a spoiler if you don't didn't recognize the shape of the elven gods in the trailers, or if you haven't seen any of the trailers. But um, Gilanon and Elgarnon are the elves, uh, the elven gods that got out, right? Uh, which we do we do know from the gameplay trailer. And Gilanon, I could tell from the start because if you look, and I'll see if I can find a picture of it, but there's um. In, it's actually, there's one in Blackwall's, like, shed, in Skyhold, where, like, Blackwall stays in that barn, you know, and there's, like, a, an image, um, like, a rock art image, essentially, like, an elven rock art image, it's on the wooden wall, I think it's the wooden wall, I don't think it's the stone back there, but you'll see it in other places where it's, like, painted on, they're basic, they're pictographs, right, um, of, like, ancient elven, you know, uh, like, lore, deities, you know, stories, whatever, um, and... The, I'm just making sure everything's working. Um, the, I mean, it could have been from the Dales, right? Or from, um, what is it? The days, not of Arlathan. Arlathan was the first elven kingdom, but the second one whose name escapes me. Um, hold on, Shrell. Um, but I'm pretty sure these were older um, instances of pictographs. Um, but they have a, a bear, like, they have a bear, yeah, a fully painted bear, you know, kind of stylistic. But then in front of the bear is a woman, uh, a woman, <laughs> who uh, has branching antlers for, like, on top of her head, you know? But it's just a silhouette. It's a white silhouette. Um, and, sorry, like, my hands are so close together because I've got this cloak on and it's, like, keeping my hands together. <laughs> but, um... The, uh, it, it's Gilanon, right? Because Gilanon is supposed to be the mother of the Hala also, right? And oh my gosh, you guys, if you'd read... Oh, I, should be, I need to keep clicking. Uh, I keep using my hands to talk. Um, to Winter Nights, there's two stories in there specifically that deal with Gilanon, okay? Uh, or like, uh, yeah, with Gilanon. Like, they, they're not even... That's not even implied, really. It's heavily implied, you know, that it's Gilanon. Or just straight up said that it's Gilanon. And she's actually, like, there's they're the spookiest stories in that short story collection, which is really, really good. I highly recommend it. Um, there's two on Solas in there that made me kind of cry. And there's uh, the two with Gilanon that were actually creepy. Like, very, like, Lovecraft in that she's not just, like, this, like, you know... Um, benign creator of, of creatures, you know, like she made the Hala very beautiful, blah, blah, blah. She also makes monsters. And she made them for Andrew to hunt, which we do, I think, figure out in Mythal's Temple in Inquisition, if you bring Solus with you. Uh, because um, Morgan's like, oh, is this a so-and-so, and let me tell you the lore, and then Solus, if you bring him, is like, actually, no. And he's like, you can kind of see him breaking down a little bit, being like he has to, like, spill the beans on what he's seen in the Fade, you know? And, um, but yeah, the, uh, it's funny. But yeah, you realize that, like, Andril is, like, and she went mad. Andril goes mad, like, hunting these creatures, like, in some sort of, like, some sort of darkness. I can't remember exactly, but some sort of space that drives her insane. Um, but yeah, Gelanon makes some wild entities. And I am firmly in the camp that I believe all the lore is leading us towards the fact that she created the Kunari by adding dragon blood to elven blood. Right? I think she I think she experimented on her own people and I think she, that's who the Canari are. I think and then that's why they have like this rage that they like try to control using the Kune, right? Is because like they've mixed their their blood is mixed with dragon's blood, like very primal, you know, very um it can be aggressive, you know, like that like that, that blood like that that genetic mixing would maybe like, you know, potentially bring that out in a people or if like they were made to just be weapons by her like she only let them be violent and aggressive right and they were used as tools of weapons you know and then you know somehow they're freed whatever whatever like they're, they're that, that part of the, the history is still muddled right but um 
then they use they they find or or create the cune in order to be like no we are going to be we are going to be like not that anymore we will not be monsters anymore and that's why they had such a fear of the talvashoth right because they, they think if you're not in if you're not doing following the cune that you're going to fall back into being a monster and they say that all the time but i think it fits right it fits with like potentially like like a long long ago oral hist like or actual history that turned into an oral history that turned into like vague vibes you know over over many many years right because that's how history works sometimes and and i really love that in dragon age that they do a, they play excellently with like you know uh unreliable narrators and like history is written by the victors and like history is written from one perspective or another you know what i mean like and that sometimes it's just somebody with a grudge or something you know like and so it's it's fascinating stuff but um yes yeah, sorry uh, I do go off on tangents, but so that's my theory is that Gilanon made the Kunari uh, And I think we're gonna get stuff on that in this game And I tried my best to avoid spoilers despite Bioware trying to actively shove spoilers into everybody's faces um, Ooh colors. Oh, we can have fun hair colors. Oh good. Okay. Nice. So we get fun colors Let us see You better tell me who's who they are not, this is obviously a dwarven design. Are they? So you can, you have to know if it's a Valisleen or not. Like this is not Valisleen as far as I know. This looks like it's from Orlay. Orlay, some of it's gonna be Tevinter. Like this is, this is Tevinter, Tevinter, this is dwarven. Some of this Avar, like, you know? Like, sorry, that her hair covers up where, where the tattoo actually is. But, um, this one is, I believe, an Andril. Yeah, it's an Andril. You can see the bow. This is an Andril variation. The left. Oh, I see. Someone was telling me that you can change the intensity of the tattoo. Like, the center. That is really, really cool. That is super cool. I like that a lot. I think this was, oh my gosh, Goddess, or June, Craft. This classic mythal. And this is Falandin. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to double check. I wish they would tell you, though. You have to, like, look it up yourself, like, what Valisleen belongs to who, even in Inquisition. I chose this one not knowing who it represented. It represented Mythal, which was very apropos, you know? But if you're putting a Valisleen on your face, it's a very significant, like, right, like, passagehood into adulthood in the game series, right? Like, in the lore. So, like, you're not trying to slap one on willy-nilly, you know? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna be associated with that god or goddess, you know? Um, or that, like, you've chosen it, or, like, your clan has, like, you know, been, like, you know, hey, this is, this is what you seem to be more affiliated with, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, where was that one? That, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like a, like a castless tattoo for the dwarves. Body tattoos. I, okay, do I gotta, like, I guess it wouldn't, I'm like, I don't have to, I don't want to remove my shirt necessarily because, like, I'm not going to be running around naked, so whatever it is will need to be visible. Oh, I do love the skull design. This is Tevintory. This looks like uh, Dorian's armor from the last game. These are kind of starting to hurt my ears. No, I don't want them to. No, please let me wear it. The wing on the arm, I really like that. Again, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be, I don't know my back, oh, both arms, oh, I'm torn between, I have no idea how long this will be, I'm torn between Mourn Watch, cause Necromancer vibes. I will be a warrior though, for the record. I love playing a warrior, always have in these games. <laughs> and everyone's like, warriors, this is the least popular. And I'm like, I love the warrior, <laughs> but uh, Oh, this one's neat. So some of them are like very similar designs, it looks like, but like they emphasize, diff like they move their emphasis to different parts of the body sometimes. Yeah, I want to be, I should have maybe said this at the beginning. Maybe I'll put this at the beginning. I want to be a warrior, uh, probably an elf, who uh, is either in the Mourn Watch 
Um, because I like necromancy vibes, I just don't want to play a necromancer. Like, I don't, I don't want to play one for my first time. I want to play a warrior. Um, and I like, uh, what is it? Let's see. Oh, the Wardens. Cla it's a classic one, and I've always drawn to it. I have the I, I, I had a very high expectations of the Wardens because all I heard for, for the very first was in Inquisition, how everybody was like, you know, spoke so well of the Wardens, and all the Codex entries spoke so well of the Wardens, and then I finally got to play my own, and it was just, the Wardens have a special place in my heart. And so, but so there's that, right? But I'm like, I already played one in Origins, right? But then the other option is Veil Jumper, which anybody who knows me more would think that would be the one I'd want to do, right? Because you're going to Arlathan Forest, which is traditionally, like, nobody's come in and, co and come out, like, alive, or, or at least not in known record, right? It's a place where, like, secret, you know, very, very secret. There's still ancient elves, or, or at least, like, there's elves out there, including Dalish elves, who are, like, very, um, <laughs> as they say, ter territorial. They're very protective of what's out there still, right? And so... Uh, you don't really get in very easily, and but so the veil jumpers, it's like oh, like your whole idea is to like go into like Arlathan Forest and like study ancient elven ruins and artifacts or any place I think really, not just elven. Um, and while that sounds really fun in theory to be like the curious, you know, um, always seeking knowledge, like that's the kind of thing I would love to do. Um, I'm not. The, I don't know how the veil jumpers are gonna handle it is because maybe i don't know maybe i should just say this whenever i get to like the backgrounds but um i i worry that they will be kind of lootery as in like you know not really thinking about like the context and again i'm an archaeologist but like you don't remove artifacts from their provenience right like you don't remove them from their context like unless you absolutely have to because of like imminent site you know destruction you know what i mean um, but you learn so much more when an object is with, uh, surrounded by other objects, or even from the soil that it's embedded in. You know what I mean? Like you can get like, you can get seed samples, you can get pollen samples from that. You know, or, or other kinds of samples, like charcoal samples. Like you know what I mean? Or like small, tiny artifacts that maybe you wouldn't notice, or small bones. Like you know, there's all kinds of things, and if you remove it, like it just it loses about 90% of its like knowledge. You know what I mean? Like you, you just. And there's also there's also like spiritual connotations too, or at least in North America, many Native American groups. Groups, at least out in the southwest is where I primi primarily work have an idea of like a cyclical spiritual cycle kind of a thing where like, an, like a creature or person or what or a plant like grows in an area right in this in an area or like like lives in an area or like takes resources from an area to grow and learn and like become you know grow up and then when they die they all those resources that they took you know um go back into the system from whence they took you know what i mean so like it's this cycle of like renewal where like you know and it is included for stone and everything too right where like the stone is made from you know like the any lithic material for tools is made usually from the area again if it's not from the area it's a trade good and that's something else we get to learn you know um but like it, then it goes back into the area from whence it was pulled from, you know? And so it's just like this constant cycle of, you know, life and death. And, um, so again, anyway, that's totally a tangent. But like, you know, you just don't, you just don't want to remove things from where they're at. Um, and so, I don't know. I don't know. I totally went off on a tangent on that. <laughs> oh, but the veil jumpers. Um, I just worry, I'm sorry, you can't even like see like both my hands. That's like, that's a distracting actually. Hmm, I don't know, but, um, the, the veil jumpers, I feel like, are just, like, wow, like, overly enthusiastic, and, like, just going in and being, like, wow, so cool and quirky, and, like, grabbing stuff and taking it, and I'm, like, I don't, I don't really like that, you know, like, and I don't know for sure, I don't know, but, like, I also am not a big fan of what we've seen of the Veil Jumper character. She seems like that like quirky manic pixie dream girl insert that I just I don't vibe with. If she's gonna be like stating really super obvious things and like a whoo kind of voice all the time, I'm going to lose it. Um, so yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts on that. Um, hmm. So we've got, oh scars. Let's look at scars. We've got many scar shape. Ooh. Okay. Paint. We can have body paint oh, oh, oh my gosh this is so cool this is very cool this is kind of giving me a little bit horizon zero dawn vibes color you can change it body paint look at these designs again we're getting like wardeny things but like other than that it's kind of hard to tell 
this is like kind of dragony looking. We've got like wardeny and dragony looking stuff. And other than that, all right, I'm gonna dive into actual character creation now, not just like messing around with stuff and chit chatting. Um, we'll see how this video all goes, but um, maybe I can squish in like a speed it up version of trying to create my own character. We shall see. So wish me wish me luck. So I was unable to fit everything in, at least in a mannerly time. I don't know if that's how you say it, in a, an orderly time. Uh, I really wanted to get more of my own character creation in, but unfortunately I'll have to leave that for the next video where I just like double time, you know, like it like quadruple the speed so that you guys can just like see the progress as, as she goes along. Um, I'm really pleased with her. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get this video out today on release day and it's going to be super late and that's maybe a bad idea and maybe a bad idea to all of this to not include my own character in the first video. But I hope you guys understand. Uh, I'm going to I didn't even do as much editing on this one as I wanted to, but uh, I'm doing doing my best with, with sort of a scuffed, even though I prepared <laughs> uh, setup and everything. So anyway, really quick, I did want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including Fane, my acorn tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I saw you commenting too. Nice face. Thank you for that. <laughs> and I want to give an extra, extra special shout Shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you again, Christopher, and thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. I promise the next videos will actually show more of the character and content that we're actually going to have for the rest of the series. So thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate it. If you're new here, I hope you enjoy yourself, and I hope you stick around for the next couple videos at least, so that you can see what we actually do. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next one.